Okay, welcome back. Uh, what I'd like to work on now is my two column issue here. I've got a left column and a right column and they're in the right place but when one gets longer than the other I get this effect. I can't tell these to be a 100% in their height. I've got to use some other method to do it and uh, one method that works quite well is to kind of fake it and by faking it I mean I'm going to use an image um, a background image that tiles to do this instead. Uh, so let me just uh, go to fireworks here and create the image and you can kind of see hopefully see how it's going to uh, how it's going to work. Alright let me just get a uh, canvas out quick that I can do create on. Alright so I'm just going to draw a rectangle out here uh, and it's a white rectangle. Um, let me put a little color in it so you can see it for a second. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this white rectangle. Uh, I'm going to make it uh, it's just about the right width, so 770 pixels. Because remember my right hand column, my left hand column was uh, 140 pixels wide with 30 pixels of padding, so 170 pixels. Um, and then I'm going to put a drop shadow on it. Okay little drop shadow on it. Now stay with me here. Um, you'll see in a minute what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to put white back in. I don't need all this canvas so I'm just going to fit the canvas. Now I only really need, because this this um, image is going to tile and what it's going to do is going to tile to create, to create a little border, a little shadowed border between my two columns which will give a visual indication that there's two separate columns there and then I'll take the background color out of both columns and I'll just see this little border. So I really just need a little slice of this. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, so really all I'm going to do is just grab and take a slice of that area right there and it really only needs to be one pixel. Okay, So I'm just going to cut out a little tiny one pixel high, um, 178 it came out to be because of that, that drop shadow there added 8 pixels on. So it's actually 178 pixels um, wide and one pixel high. So let me just get a copy of that out. So if I file export that I can export that and that would need to go right into my local root folder. Alright, so I'll find my local root folder and let's see, it's here on desktop stuff. Sorry, I got it way down here and right here. Alright, so way over here I'm going to save it in my images folder and I can name it um, the left background. Alright, and just export it. Alright, so back to Dreamweaver. Okay, so now in my uh, root folder over here, I have this, uh, oh, I got two of them, I'm sorry, I've got this left uh, BG and I got a previous one that I was practicing on. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to use that as the background image of um, the background image of this left column, but if I put it just as the background image of the left column, it'll only tile as far as the left column will go. So I just sort of have to think about this. Um, these columns are showing up, uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. These two columns are sitting on top of or inside the wrapper or on top of it. So instead of making this the background image of that left column, I'm going to make it the background image of the wrapper. So I'm going to go over here, find my definition for the wrapper. So if we look there, there it is. And I'm going to edit that by clicking on the pencil and just browse here to the, my background images. Um, and I'll use that one. And now I want it to repeat, so but only in the Y direction, which means up and down. So repeat Y. Click OK. Nothing really happens, but I can kind of see where that column's not showing up. I can start to see um, that border down there. So if I now go into the um, left column and what I need to do is just take out the background color so I don't want any background color so it's just see-through so I'm seeing through to that uh, to just that the, the background image that's in the wrapper I'm going to do the same thing for my right column here just get rid of that um, background color 
apply OK. That seems all right. Let's take a look. Um, let's preview this in the browser now to really see how it's looking. All right, here it comes. All right, so getting better. You can see now I had that little tiny image that was just one pixel wide by 178 pixels. Um, I'm sorry, one pixel high by 178 pixels wide. So really, really small download, but it creates this little border here. Um, and the reason it's not showing up down here in the blue or up here in my top nav or in the header is that I put it as a background image inside of the wrapper um, and these other elements, these other divs, are all sitting on top of it. Uh, so that background image is hidden by these this image up here. If I were to take this gray background color out of my top nav or this blue background color out of my footer, um, I would that that background image would continue all the way down. But it's okay because um, I don't I'm not going to ever see that. And you can see now it really looks like I have two columns. The actual height of my left and right column don't really matter because you can't tell how high they are. This in this background image, the beauty of using a background image is um, that when these columns grow, the footer will get pushed down. But because it's a background image, it's going to tile automatically regardless of how high my page is. Because my that's going to be all my pages are going to probably be a little bit different in their heights. So a great way to to get a little effect like that.